Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at how we can add scrolling text to a video clip in CapCut. So to get us started, let me uh, show you around the environment that we've got this morning. So I have opened up CapCut, it's the free version. I have imported a 30 second video clip and a piece of background music, both of which are royalty free and came from pixabay.com. I will add links to um, both those items in, in, my, in my comments. Okay, in addition to those two downloads, I also opened up Notepad and I've put in a little bit of text that I'm going to use for our scrolling text. So this is very old um, text here because I'm going to make um, an ancient scroll. These aren't good jokes, but they are my own. Anyway, so moving on. So we've got our video, we have our music and we have some text here. So let's um, carry on and start making a scrolling text. Okay, so let's start looking at our text box now. So I'm going to come over here to where we see text. I'm going to left click on that, come down and we have a default text box. And I'm just going to click on the plus sign to add that to our timeline. Now you see in here where we've got the text default, uh, default text. That is the text that is in this box over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the text that I previously put into Notepad. So let me just make a copy of that. Control V on that. And I've now got my text. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to decrease the font size to something a bit more appropriate. Probably around about there. I'm going to come across the right hand side, scroll down so we can see um, presets for text that are available to us. And I'm just going to use this um, black on yellow. There we go. I think that's good enough. And I'm just now just going to, to begin with, just going to pull that down to the bottom of the screen. Okay, so there's that bit done. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm now going to come across to the text box down here. I don't want the text to start right at the beginning of my video. I want it to start after a few frames. So I'm going to pull it across to about the third frame there. And now I'm also going to stretch out so we can actually see the text. And I'm just going to bring that up in line to the rest of the sound and video clip. Okay, so that's the text box in position. Um, I'm now going to come back to create the um, keyframes that we need. So I need to click on the box, make sure that's selected. Oh, sorry, stupid me. And I keep making this mistake. For me to select this, I must ensure that the timeline is on the text box. Now, I've made this mistake about 20 times. And if you don't do that, you see the text, you try to get there and you're doing this, what's going on? It's because your timeline cursor isn't on the box. So that's just me being a complete idiot. So put the timeline on the text box. I now have access to move this around again. So that's what I need. I'm also going to come across to this side. Um, wrong. I want to come down a bit on this side so I can see the coordinates for this text box. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my text across to the right hand side because I want my text to scroll from right to left. So I'm pulling it over to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to on here, I'm just going to pull a little handle for myself. It just gives me a little something to work with once I lose sight of the text. So 
here we go. Now, now that I've got the text there at my start point, I want to add a keyframe. So here where we see position, I'm going to click on the keyframe icon. It turns blue and at the same time, it adds a keyframe icon onto the text box. So there we go. Next thing I do is I drag the timeline cursor across to the edge. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go right to the edge. And I'm going to add a second keyframe. So back to where we see position, click and add a keyframe. We see the second keyframe. So that's blue there and it's white down there. Okay, now that we've done that, what I want to do is, and this is why I left this little handle out now, I now want to drag my text all the way over to the left. And again, we've got this little handle on there, so it makes it easier for me to move it if I, if I do need to adjust it. And there we go. And that's out of sight. So now I think hopefully we are ready to um, play the video. So that looked fine to me. Now, if you wanted or needed to adjust the speed, if I click in the um, text box frame again here, where we have this keyframe here, if you want, if you need to speed it up, you can drag that across to the left. If you want to slow it down, move it across to the right. You may. Um, so it's a bit of testing and adjusting to get that, and you may even need to, you know, increase the size there to um, to get the right speed. But um, that I was quite happy with what we got there, and that's it. So that is how we add scrolling text to a video clip in CapCut. I do apologise for the couple of mistakes I made. It wasn't worth me cutting them out because these are mistakes that other people can make to. Um, but maybe not as often as me. Um, I hope my appalling joke made up for my, my two mistakes. So anyway, but uh, thank you for your time. I hope you found this uh, helpful and um, goodbye.